top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 23rd, 2019. So I've been talking about this trend and uh, the bullishness kind of behind that trend as we continue to hold on. And even though we've had this selling, it really hasn't gotten out of hand. And, and as a matter of fact, yesterday, we saw a pretty good attempt by the bulls to defend this trend. So here's how I've been drawing this trend here on the diamonds. And you can see holding up quite well. And this pullback yesterday obviously had a lot of people concerned. But by the end of the day, even after the choppy price action, the bulls seem to gain the upper hand and really have worked hard to defend um, this upside trend. And right now, we're looking at the market gapping up this morning, moving higher, following through on that move. Now it hasn't, at least at this point, shown any signal that it's ready to break out or above that bearish engulfing candle. But as I said yesterday, that bearish engulfing candle really has, is of no consequence unless we get a follow through. And they tried, the bears tried, but were unable to provide that follow through to that bearish engulfing candle. And now it looks like the bulls are going to take a stab at breaking the market higher here this morning. So let's take a look at what we have here in these technicals on the chart. Remember, as I've said, this trend is really, really important. Uh, it would appear that we have defended this area right now, and I didn't draw that very well, but um, we have defended this area quite well, and we're holding this market up pretty solidly. And I think even if we drift a little bit lower, we're in great shape as long as we hold some of these key support levels in the chart. But right now it looks like we're going to move higher this morning. First, there's the anticipation that, or the expectation that earnings have started to come out just slightly better than expected. We're getting some energy on that. And then the news of a two year deal between the White House and Congress on raising the debt ceiling. Without the big, long, drawn-out fight and the close of the government, they actually got something done ahead of time. Whether it's the right thing, I don't know, and I'm not going to comment on that, but um, they did get their job done, uh, raising it up before we ran into a crisis situation, and, of course, that helps the market out as well, removing uh, an extra layer of uncertainty. We still have the uncertainty and there's there's still that um, a little bit of uh, concern for the market as we start rolling into some of the, these major reports, uh, whether or not the earnings will continue to hold up, but we'll just have to wait and see. And I would expect a considerable expansion of volatility uh, through the rest of this week. We have um, about 140 companies reporting today, and that only grows on, on um, Wednesday and Thursday uh, to a pretty fevered pitch. So, and, and hitting some of those big techs and things like that that always tend to move the market. So, watch for that volatility. And also, don't be too surprised if we see... Um, um, big overnight gaps as a result of some of these earnings reports and even the possibility of that overnight reversal. So plan carefully and be careful how you uh, move forward um, with, with all of this data rolling out. Let's take a look at the SPY real quick, SPY. SPY also doing the same thing, holding on to that nice little trend, hanging in there well, Holding on to key support levels in the chart, we're, we're clearly um, hanging in there nicely. And now we're moving up this morning with the bulls indicating a very positive open here. Hasn't, and once again, hasn't quite found a way to break through uh, that bearish engulfing candle. And we'll have to wait and see on that. We also have the possibility, you know, we could get this gap up in the morning and find selling the rest of the day, that pop and drop. And that certainly would be not good, uh, partic particularly if uh, we popped and dropped and fell below that low right in here. So if we were to get that morning, nice good morning pop and end up doing something like that, that would be um, an ugly day and we 
certainly have that possibility with so many earnings rolling out. But right now the bulls seem to be pretty confident in what they're doing and holding the market up well. So I'm going to go along with the bulls at least at the moment until I see something different. But we always have to pay attention to that gap up open, particularly as we're testing highs um, in the market. We always have to pay attention to that gap up open with the idea that bears could be right there to defend uh, that resistance. Let's take a look at the cues. The Qs had the best performance yesterday, really never uh, showing uh, that bearish um, aspect at all. The, the bulls just came in and defended right where we wanted them to, defended this breakout high and looking pretty good at the close. And this morning, the Qs are indicated sharply higher. Obviously not quite ready to break that bearish engulfing candle, but coming very close to that and possibly with some of these earnings reports that can spur that just a little bit higher. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely as the morning rolls on. Um, let's take a look at IWM. IWM also just struggling here. I, I got to tell you, IWM is, is really a problem child, I think, for the market. We're... We're, we're stuck in this uh, downward trend. We had this little uptrend that was going on, but we have now since failed that trend. And we're trying to hold on to a level of support here that's relatively important in the chart, but we're struggling to do that. And this morning we're getting just that little tiny lift back up here into this range, trying to hang on, but boy, IWM is just not um, responding as the rest of the market is. So it's a little bit of a concern. It's kind of acting like that boat anchor that we're dragging along on the bottom um, while the other indexes are trying to lift higher. We're dragging and stretching out this IWM because we just can't get any buying going on in that index. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX showing little to no concern at all. And yesterday backing off here just a little bit, we have this downtrend still in play. We have a price support down in here that we have yet to test. And I don't think we're going to have too much of a concern here this morning initially and likely see um, the VIX gapping lower and moving on down. However, the, the key point, I think, um, the place where we have to worry is if those um, bears do defend that resistance level and we start seeing that fear creep up. Any break above this downtrend and holding it as a support level, that's where the real trouble could come into the market. But right now, don't see that as being the case and we just have to watch this pretty closely but no no major fear here in the market at least at this point let's take a look at t21 22 which is the four week new high new low ratio and yesterday's little bit of selling actually improved the upside odds just a little bit as you can see we continued to push down here yesterday just ever so slightly came very very close to this last reversal point in the market and now this morning we're looking for those bulls to push us a little bit higher so just keep in mind, T2122 isn't giving us really good reversal signals or anything. That's not its intention until we reach these uh, bearish reversal zones and bullish reversal zones in the chart. But right now it's showing us we have a substantial upside um, ability in this chart and um, not quite so much uh, downside ability in the chart. So let's keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today. And our economic calendar may have something to say about how the market performs later on this morning. Um, we'll get through that market open and then we have existing home sales. Right now, consensus is looking for just a little bit of a decline in existing home sales, but really not so much that I would think it would shock the market. Um, if it comes in as as the estimates suggest. But of course, we always wanna pay attention to those home sales. That can be 
one of those big movers of the market and really the only mover of the market today on the economic calendar. So let's keep an eye on that 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Eastern time. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great direct day of trading. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, would you do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube? Click those, click that bell icon when it pops up so you can be notified um, when uh, these videos are posted. And I do put out a morning preparation video every single market day. And the purpose of these videos is not to predict the direction of the market. It's not to give you any hype or any kind of, you know, rah, 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 uh, kind of, uh, video. It's meant to have you focus in on the key details of the day, what the technicals of the chart are telling us and giving us the impression on how we want to approach the market for today. And if you find those helpful, please do me a favor as well and click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. And also please feel free to share this video with any friends and family. And that, and that really goes with any video on right way options. They're open, they're free to the public. So please feel free to, if you find the videos helpful, share it on your Facebook feed and share it on Twitter, Twitter. And, um, pass those videos around because that helps us grow this channel and reach more folks. And I truly, truly appreciate those who take the time to do it. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up and things that are looking pretty good overall in the market. Now, remember any stock that I show you here is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It is merely a, a chart that has a, a pattern that I think could develop into a, um, into a good trade trading setup and one that we want to maybe put on a watch list and evaluate. So let's start off right here. Let's take a look at EXAS. EXAS, incredibly tight little consolidation here on EXAS. If this were to pop through here to the upside, um, we have that opportunity to move on through and test this resistance high. However, there is a concern here on this chart. And that concern for me is that we have broken down through this price support. Price broke through that price support and we broke down here. What's interesting in this chart is there seems to be no major interest in the sellers to break this below. And because of the, the trend that we're still trying to uh, determine whether we're going to hold, I'm watching this for that potential of that buy that pops up through here. And um, I'll be watching uh, that for a potential trade. EXAS might want to be on the list. And it's one of those trades that could really go either direction. We could break to the upside. We could break to the downside. And both would be a relatively low risk entry into the trade. Take a look at Apple. Apple, um, I've made mention of Apple a couple of times. And yesterday, a lot of RWO members um, took a position in Apple and uh, from this price alert, Apple breaking its downtrend, consolidating that move, holding on to this little uptrend, and then showing bullishness coming in. And this morning, it looks like Apple could gap a little bit higher, looking pretty good on the day. And I've got to say, looks pretty good overall as a trade. Now, remember, it's going to report on the 30th. So if you take a position in here, bear that in mind, how long you want to hold that position um, into that earnings report. But looking pretty darn good. Let's take a look at Cisco. I've been talking about Cisco here for a little bit. Cisco made a nice move yesterday trying to push up and actually found a little bit of sellers there right at the end of the day. But this morning, it looks like Cisco could be a little bit bullish at the open this morning, pushing on up. So let's keep an eye on Cisco. It reports on 814. So I'm just looking for this to rally up toward earnings. Just in that anticipation of a report, I would plan on selling this prior to the earnings uh, report. But that's looking pretty good. And, and Cisco might be a chart to kind of keep an eye on after breaking through this substantial resistance point and holding it as support. I uh, got to look at that as being uh, fairly bullish. Take a look at Dish Network. Dish Network, I reported on this one at uh, Sunday night in our Sunday night review. And um, 
suggested this might have that opportunity to move on up and certainly did yesterday gave a nice little popping move through there um, this was the price alert on the chart um, right now dish is looking pretty darn bullish um, i would expect this to continue on higher keep an eye on dish now it is possible at this resistance level right here we just could consolidate for a little bit consolidate before we move on up but still holding this trend i gotta give give this one to the bulls they're looking pretty good here on this chart how about Roku? Roku, I've mentioned a couple times here. Roku is continuing to set up. Looked like we had a little bearish action going on yesterday early on, and then those bulls stepped in, pushing it back up. Still waiting for this break of this um, uh, alert area here on my chart, but I'm watching that pretty closely if we were to fire on through there. And this morning, it looks like we're getting a little tiny lift here maybe um, and we could be popping up very very close to that alert right at the open so watch that close um a roku uh, maybe one to put on your list for an evaluation of uh, of a trade i've i've mentioned this mosaic um, several times mosaic in a very different pattern here mosaic and being in a rounded bottom breakout pattern and that's where we get that price that's been oversold stock has been an ugly downtrend 50 day moving average is well below the 200 day but then price starts to recover and we can recover back above that 50 and we start to hold that 50 day moving average as support and looking at this chart we did get a little tiny bit of a rest yesterday and i think any rest or pullback in this chart any consolidating move in here could set up that opportunity for that next leg higher keep an eye on mosaic i really like the chart i think there could be some opportunity here if you like that pattern another one that i've talked about over and over and over and yesterday really started to perk up here a little bit we originally alerted here on mcdonald's uh, the last trade anyway right in here on this trade this is just that consolidation over to trend and pop off we go to the upside and i alerted on this trade right in here although this was early it didn't quite make it over to trend notice we didn't quite um you know consolidate this move over the trend so you'll see this pattern quite a little quite a lot if the stock goes early right before uh, before it actually makes it over to the trend it's fairly common that that stock consolidates that move over to the trend so it popped early but moving over to the trend and now yesterday showing a beautiful potential um entry signal here and by the way it had that a couple of days ago we pulled back but showing some strength here holding that price support mcd looks like it wants to go higher and i would want to keep an eye on that chart take a look at okta okta holding beautifully in this tight little consolidation holding its trend we're just looking and waiting for that opportunity for the stock to pop on through give us that entry signal into the chart looking very good in my opinion one i want to be keeping an eye on i also really like this chart here on procter and gamble procter breaking on through and now pulling back in this nice little controlled pullback almost that little j hook type pattern that we watch for where we come back to that trend and then just hook our way back to the upside looking really really good here definitely one i would want to be keeping an eye on for a possible trade last but not least today i'm going to talk about uh, best buy you guys know that um, i alerted everyone to best buy um, prior to um, where we are right now right here on this alert and we moved on up broke through that resistance pulled back i talked about this on sunday as a possible trade um, sunday night um, in our um, uh, chart review and that did move on through to the upside trying to break itself out so let's keep an eye on best buy breaking through this level here uh give and holding above that gives us opportunity for more upside moves so keep an eye on best buy hey everyone i want to draw your attention to the morning blog if you if you uh look below um in right underneath the title of of the video you'll see there's a link posted there in that video and that's going to take you right back to my blog post that i do every single morning inside that blog post 
I have a special running right now. If anyone is interested or had any interest in right way options, um, I'm offering right now a 50% discount on only 10 seats, but I'm offering a 50 cent or 50% off discount on 10 seats to the service. If you have any interest at all, you might want to check that out. Certainly not trying to push any sales or anything here, but if, if that's something that you've been thinking about, take a look at that. Also, I want to ask you guys if this is, um, you find these videos helpful, please do me a favor and make sure you click that thumbs up button and just leave a brief comment. It doesn't have to be much of anything at all. You know, a smiley face is all that is required. Um, just a little, um, a little comment there um, allows these algorithms to show these videos to more people. And, and I truly appreciate those who do that. Thank you so much for all your help and support and the kind comments that you guys leave on these videos. You're, you truly are the best. Thank you very much. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits and we'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care. Everyone.